What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. So as you guys probably seen by the title, this strategy was countering grinders like crazy, dude. I was bodying grinders like it was insane. So actually I'm going to be doing some battles TV, you know, kind of a post commentary. So yeah, let's go ahead and hop into that. I'm kind of going to be starting from shortest videos to the longest. So yeah. If you guys aren't familiar with what a grinder is, it's pretty much, for the most part, people are trying to make the games end really quick by using really toxic powers and strategies. So most commonly, like Dartling, Farm, Boomer, almost that, almost every single time. Or And they always have like Quick Shot, Team Tower Stun, Power Lock, Knockout. There's just a whole list of different powers that I like to use to try and end the game as soon as possible. Which, I mean, you can almost have some respect for. You know, they're trying to grind out keys, leaderboard, whatever. I'm not too big into it, but yeah. So, we're going to hit the start button. We got ourselves a DFA, man. Dark Farm Ace. And I'm telling you what, man. It's insane. Now... Grinders, like, once they could tell that you could counter their strategy, they kind of go a little, like, brain dead. <laughs> Not to be mean, but, like, they're like, what? How? Like, they, they, they don't know what to do after their plan fails. So, sometimes the games end pretty early. You know, I got the triple passive lightning damage boost and eco boost. I just go ahead and go right for my trip dart here. He gets down his farm. And a good spotter. How to know when you're going against a grinder. They will always eco boost real freaking early. It's like so early that it almost doesn't make sense. Like round three. Even round four. Like if, if somebody's playing passive like a decent normal strategy. Like round five is like you'll see that every time. That's how you know you're going against somebody that's willing to take it later than round 13. So, with that being said, he's, yeah, we're kind of just chilling here. We got our uh, zero, 00 farm. Nope, we, I think that's a zero, 01 farm. Trying to get our eco up a little bit. I, aware of him having more money than us, I like to do an eco boost the level after them. Usually I would do like around 5, 7, and 10. But in this scenario, since he did his so early, I got to kind of match that. I need to have about the same amount of money, but more to be able to counter him. So I go for around 4 eco boost. Get up my double trip dart here. That might have been unnecessary, but... Yeah, we're, we're just poking along. We're chilling. We're chilling. Round five. Round six comes around. Get the spolt ready. All I do is place it there. Get it targeted to last. So as soon as he sends something, boom, right there is their spolt. We go for our second farm. So does he. He uses his last eco boost. Round seven. I believe. Yeah, we're pretty close. Similar in eco, really. So, he forces the spolt there. I get that up. Go. We both go for another farm. We're actually like playing very equally right now. I'm kind of going a little passive here. As you can see, we have slightly more eco. We are tied on farms. So, he's got that going for him. And I actually right away go ahead and go for that back spolt there. Because region uh, leads are like a pain on this map. So... So we got that going for us. We're chilling. He gets his uh Okay, yeah. What what he does here. I don't think it's showing, but he power locks and then quick shots is here. I believe this is when he did it. I could be wrong. No, he does it here. And I just get up the ace and just Yeah, it just completely handles. This was so weird. So I'm not 
whenever I go against a grinder, I'm not pressed on, oh, when am I going to get my bank or my BIA? I mean, eventually it results to that where you need to be thinking about that, but really need to be prepared and on your toes to be able to defend whatever they throw at you. If they knock out your ace, okay, I'm going to have to sell rebuy right here. Boom. Uh, team Tower Stun, uh, Glue Storm, or whatever you might have. You know, that just be prepared. So he goes for the all out, sells everything. I don't understand, man. This guy, believe it or not, was like top rank. He's in the number one clan, like fifth in place. And he all outs my freaking uh, Dark Storm here. I don't, I don't understand why he thought that would ever work in a million years. I had to micro my ace once. Micromias once and didn't even lose a life. That was just insanity to me. I think we did end up getting a double jug, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the next one. And we're back, and as you can see, we have another grinder. Dartling Farm Boomer, Team Tower Stun, and Quick Shot. Very common. Team Tower quick, quick Shot is... Ugh, quick Shot is one of the most common. But yeah. So... As you guys might have noticed, though, I brought Salted Wounds. I wanted to display early to him that I have Dart so that he would think I'm going triple passive and would not think I would have uh, Salted. You never expect a Dart player to have, uh, have Salted. So, I'm trying to play it cool like, you know, nothing's going on. You know, probably have Eco Boost, but we got that Salted. This guy was a pretty high ranked grinder as well. I'm of all the people I'll be showing you guys were high rank, like top scoreboards. Had multiple top 10 badges type stuff. Like, I can't believe how many games I won just going DFA. It is for sure the best strategy in the game. I'm just casually sending some space deco here. I don't want him to see what why I'm sending space is I don't want him to think he needs to get up his powerful darts because once he gets his powerful darts up, it's going to be hard and it's going to take a while to be able to get assaulted wounds in. So we're doing that now. I get early salted wounds. Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, yeah, I did. I only got three like three lives on him. Yeah. But then he ends up getting his powerful darts, so he's got to... He, he ends up stressing about that Salted Wounds over defending. Like, he gets down a whole other Dartling, so that's good. That's still a, a win for us. We got the Eco Advantage and the Farm Advantage. The, although we only have one Trip Dart, I'm, I don't even care at that point. We have a Lightning we could burn. So that immediately put us up. Like, we're just chilling after that. I think I end up just leaving both of these on first. I think it handles pretty well. Yeah. So he sends some blacks. I send him some greens, and I think I back it with some blacks. Hoping that we could do something, because he actually sold his uh, dartling to get his farm. But I'm not sure if we get any off this. I think we get a couple, yeah. A full salted, dude. Look at our eco compared to his. That is insane. And our we're like over defending. Two trips, a spolt, and well, a zero zero dart. That's not gonna do anything, but we're already going for another farm. And I don't... Yeah, he hasn't used his quick shot or team tower stun yet. Now, whenever I go to the battles TV for replays, it, it sometimes doesn't tell you when they use the powers, so it's hard to tell. But I, I'm pretty sure he didn't use it at this point. I don't know why I sent the region yellow or well, white. I thought that would, for some reason, for some reason, do well, but... Nah. 
we actually get another full salt dude like i'm surprised he didn't even just give up at this point look at the eco difference there I get up a whole uh, juggernaut and a spolt. There's really nothing he could really do at this point. I'm, I'm trying to think when he team tower stuns. I think he does this like right now. No, but I, I am aware that he probably has it. So I go ahead and get up an early ace anyways. And he goes for that. That was a bit odd. He did. He did a uh, quick shot there. He did quick shot there. So I kind of panicked and boosted. That uh, that wasn't completely necessary, but I knew we weren't going to be playing very long. So I, I figured, why not burn it? I have a bad habit of whenever I see someone rushing, I just immediately throw down my lightning. Even though the lightning probably won't defend, I throw down my lightning. And then you gotta wait for the cooldown, the boost. So I've been trying to keep that in mind. And with Team Tower Stun, double double freaking ace is insane. Like it doesn't even bother it. He keeps on trying to rush. I go for a lightning just simply because I know we're chilling. Like our defense is insane. But like I'm not even upset about our farms being low because our our micro isn't our uh, eco is insane. I don't know why he thought region leads or leads in general would work. Like it's not working out for him at all. I mean I got two juggernauts up and a freaking dart storm. Like what? He didn't use. I, I think he did use his team tower stun. He did, yeah. He goes for the sneaky uh, camo ceramics, but, you know, I'm burning through my boost. I know he's down to his last leg. I mean, look, he's just tanking those. All he's got is his uh, boomer there, which I could have sent him like a bunch of uh, camo pinks, but he would have just glued it, obviously. All right, so I calculate this. I send him a MOAB, but no, he's going to send me a MOAB. But I wanted to, I made sure I had enough money to sell into a fan club for when he does do that. I knew he would be dead to a Moab. But if I didn't have enough money, I would have been dead myself. Which we probably would have defended on boost. Realistically, with like six trip darts, we would have been all right there on boost. But I didn't know how sizable of a rush he was going to send. So I was just making sure. And yeah, he just tanks that entire Moab. Was, he tried his best, but it did not work. But let's go ahead and hop into our next one. All right, and we're back. And as you guys can see, this is somewhat of a common strategy. Depending on the map, you'll see grinders go Cobra instead of Dartling. But the spike storm or the uh, spike factory, I was a little uh, thrown off by that. I was not expecting that at all. But we're going, you know, your common DFA. Just poking along. We do have salted wounds. We do be having that. I have my lightning ready because I kind of figured he would. A lot of Cobra players like to use salted wounds. But surprisingly, he did not. So I was okay with tanking lives we would have just lightning if he did but we're trying to play it like we're you know just passively playing and then i start ecoing on him and let's see go for my one zero farm i'm just chilling with my one trip dart He's probably thinking, oh, well, I could leak a few lives. No need to upgrade my uh, boomerang at all, right? So, <laughs> I go for another dart because he's sending pinks, and then we get a full salted on him right here. He's probably so mad at this point. So, I go for another trip dart. We're leaking down low, but I really don't even care at this point. Like, that extra money we have, and look at how much he leaked down here. 
I'm pretty sure you actually leaked down less than us. Yeah. That's crazy. I even go as far as to get up an early spolt here just because of our advantage. No, I don't think I do that until the greens come out. Yeah, we go for the plantation. Then we go for the spolt. That's right. So we got the farm. We got a whole plantation and better ego. Well, he's now starting to surpass us. He gets his uh, bionic boomer up, so I realize it's probably not going to happen to where we can get another salted. So I kind of lay off that and just try to focus on the farms a little more. And as you can see, he has two passive powers, eco boost, damage boost, or empowered towers and uh, tower blindness, which you don't see a lot. Like this was a very interesting strategy. This guy was also high on the board too. So this was a little bit of a mix up for, you know, what I'm used to as far as grinders. Round eight comes around. I'm scared he has a knockout or team tower stun. So I actually went ahead and just got up a double spolt here. And I see why not. I try one more time to get another salted. I think we, yeah, we do get another salted. Wait, what? Did I not salt the moon set? What the heck? And he places down a spike factory. I was a little shocked by that, but yeah. We're farming away. We're not doing too bad considering our eco, which you want to have high eco when you're playing against, uh, against Cobra. He did something that made me get up a double jug. I don't know why I did that. I know there was a reason. All right. I think I'm just over def I might just be over defending because I know I can. I mean, look at our farms. We're on around 15 BIA pace right now. With insane defense. Like this was a weird rush. I just lightning just because. And we go for the round 15 B BIA. He goes for that. I go for an early ace here just in case of, you know, I don't know. I mean, there's really nothing he could do at this point. He's starting to adjust, though. But yeah, he, he only has so many. He does send this, which I think we just... Yeah, we just boost this. And then, of course, he's going to follow it up, as he should. And I cash out for the, uh, yeah, fan club. Get up a uh, ace here. I sell that. And then think I, I bank up, I believe. Put down another bank. I mean, either way, we're winning. If you're playing DFA against Cobra and you got a BIA up on like round 15 and it's round 20, you just straight up won at this point. I mean, looking at his strategy, he's not going to be able to defend very long at all. So I'm not too worried, like, if I have, you know, two BIAs in a factory by round so-and-so. Like, it doesn't even matter. It's just taking it so far late. And that, yeah, that's about it. I didn't even notice he about dies here. But, I, yeah, I go for five jugs. Jugs against... Uh, adjustments are freaking insane they peel that stuff back but when you go back when you get up to like round 25 there's a pierce cap on the juggernaut so that kind of you'll see your jug hit like three balloons and just disappear your jug uh, ball here because it hit like so many balloons in that tiny little movement that it just can't do anymore I go ahead and start using my boost early whenever I get a little scared because why not? I mean, realistically, why not? Look at our money. We got the whole BIA. He goes for that. And instead of me actually uh, 
going for a fan club, I just say screw it and get up the uh, um, Spectre there. Now we're just like crazy over defending. I go ahead and sell a jug and get a bank here. Eco is our best friend. He sends a Zeom G. I mean, he, I'm surprised by that. I mean, he had nothing else he could have done. I mean, his eco shot. But he sends a Zeom G. I mean, our banks there alone can sell into a uh, ground zero. So I was shocked by that. But yeah, I just damage boost, get up a whole fan club. And then, yeah, just simply, yeah, I get up another one. I honestly didn't even need a ground zero that. But I just start ground zeroing because I knew he was just like on his last leg. We defend that and then it's just game after that. But like, actually I seen this last second. I was so scared. I thought I was going to die here. <laughs> that was horrifying. Uh, I did. I really didn't leak anything. It, it looks like it, I did, but it did come close. Yeah, he's attempts to all out with Moabs. And yeah, there's just no no to just yeah. Killed it. He just he actually just surrendered. He knew at that point there was no point of you know trying anything. But yeah, that was really good. Now, because of the duration of the video, I'm not gonna show all the games, although there are a few other good ones. Uh, I'm going to have to call it a day there. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy, definitely consider subscribing. Leave a like, comment, check out the Discord, check out the clan, and I'll see y'all later. Peace!